Um, the weather pattern has not been favorable for going south. It's been pretty messy, pretty bumpy. We decided we're going to seize the opportunity. We're going to head out overnight tonight and hopefully uh, reach St. Augustine by the end of the day tomorrow. This one's going to be a bit ruckus, a bit bouncy. We got a swell out there and uh, still a bit of wind. So buckle up, kiddies. Ten footers. Uh, decent winds, you know, into the low 20s. And uh, we were hauling butt for a while. Uh, the wind settled down a little bit and it's coming around from behind and we're kind of left with the slop. What's left over from those winds. Should be a beautiful sunrise and uh, hopefully the waves smooth out just a little bit. I think you can get a couple more seasons out of those. How are you doing? I'm so ready to be there. All right, uh, it's pretty rough, and we've got a relatively shallow entrance to make here in St. Augustine. So we're kind of doing our pre-arrival cleanup. Make sure everything is cinched down and ready to rock and roll. All right, well, we've checked the charts. Uh, a couple of times. Uh, we're looking at the timing between the big swells. They seem to have settled down a little bit, but looking at the beach, the breakers are... Got our vests on. It is quite a sense of accomplishment uh, when you get to a, a new place and you've gone through some kind of hairy conditions. And we basically arrived moments before the squall and the visibility went to crap. Oh my God, look at this rainbow. It feels so good and calm and quiet. Ah, I'm gonna take a nap. Good morning, St. Augustine. Feels so good to be here. Looks like it's gonna be beautiful. All right, um, I don't know if this is just a little lesson or something, but it's a thought I wanted to share. So yesterday, for the first time ever, we've had an engine die on us underway, or it didn't die. The engine just, it stopped. It happened to be while we were waiting for the bridge to open in some pretty strong current to get in here to St. Augustine. Well, of course I do my investigation the next day and it turns out that a washer that holds the bracket for the throttle cable, that washer had corroded and broken. A very, very small thing, but that allowed the shifting cable and the throttle cable to slide about two millimeters. And because the stop on the throttle was turned back just a little bit, the engine quit just because it was at low RPMs. But it's just one example where a teeny tiny little thing could potentially lead to a problem. 
I'm working nine to five. What a way to make a living. I am sharing my life on the high seas for you all. St. Augustine is kind of touristy, but in the best kind of way. Every afternoon we got front row seats to this elaborate mock pirate ship battle. And this little pirate ship <laughs> chased after the big one and shot fake cannons at it. It was really cool. You could hear the kids laughing and screaming from across the water. It was pretty sweet. Oh, it feels so good to get off the boat. Not that I don't like being on the boat, but I can only walk so far. I gotta stretch my legs and see how the rest of the world lives so that I can remember why I like to go live on a boat. I really love the neighborhoods in St. Augustine. They're just so old and filled with stories. The meteorologist in me can't stop though. I can tell that we're only about two feet above sea level here. And I know that in 50 years, it's all going to be underwater. Not just a little bit, all of it. So everybody's wearing masks. Yeah, it's kind of. It's different than the last time we were here. Yeah. It's true, a lot more masks. 1597, the Spanish colonized this area and created this hospital. It's pretty amazing. The oldest hospital, the first hospital in the U.S. All right, can one of you tell the audience what just happened at this restaurant? <laughs> what just happened? Here's like a tree fell on some customers. <laughs> We heard cracking, and there was like a commotion, and this branch literally fell over and landed on one of these heaters right underneath them. And there was a woman right underneath. <laughs> they said that she had something on her head, like a little, I don't know. That was crazy. It was crazy. And it narrowly missed another guy as well. Yeah. yeah. It's going. There it goes, it's high. St. Augustine's about 80 miles north of Cape Canaveral. That's where SpaceX does most of their launches from. And this, this is one of the Starlink launches. 60 little mini satellites. They're gonna build a constellation over the next couple of years so that we'll have broadband internet from anywhere on the planet. That's gonna be a game changer for us. And the launch, it was beautiful. One of the not so fun things about a mooring ball is we had to go through the pendant. Man, such a bummer. The pendant was too long and as the current changed, the ball rubbed up against the bow of the boat and it damaged the wrap. So Nick Guyver is on the scene. An easy solution here, kind of easy, which is to feed the mooring lines through the shackle at the top of the mooring instead of relying on the pendant itself. That'll keep the ball in between the holes and not allow it to hit the holes. But the damage is done. Looks like I got a little bit more work to do next time we hit some quiet water. Wait, what's that sound? <laughs> I haven't heard this in a I while. Know. Somebody was asking me, what are my latest projects sewing? And I realized like I haven't been sewing. So I'm kind of making something festive. You see a little candy cane, uh, Xmas, Christmas type theme here. Xmas? <laughs> <laughs> 
You got any guesses? On what you're making? <laughs> I'm bad at this game. I would say you're making some sort of bag. Oh, you're good. You know me well. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a hostess gift for our Thanksgiving Day friends who are hosting us on their boat for Thanksgiving. I'm ready for the big reveal. Okay. Oh my god. This turned out way cuter than I expected. And it's not perfect. But oh my god. Is that not the cutest little coffee bag you've ever seen? That is very cute. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, red, white, and blue, baby. Woo! It's a, what is it called? A cozy? Cozy. Caddy. A caddy. This is a caddy. This is a boat caddy. This is a caddy. It's a boat caddy. Don't be caddy. Yeah, you can put anything in it. What's really cool about it is it's got a Pfeiffer Tex mesh bag. So, so you could drain your broccoli in there? Yeah, like if you get dirt in there, you just shake it out. <laughs> oh, wow. This is really, really cute. Plus, it could be a hat. Yeah. I just need an accordion and a monkey. That's the O'Kelly clap. Oh, what do we got going on here? It would not be Thanksgiving with the O'Kellys if there was not some form of a taco involved, right? <laughs> I've actually never made uh, homemade tortilla chips. So I got a nice batch of guacamole as an appetizer with some fresh chips. Mm. So I'm gonna need you to test these out, Nick. Okay. It's awesome. What's it need? More, more of my belly. Taste tester. Ooh. No what? Are you? Uh, I'm calling? available. You're available. Tell me what it needs. It needs to be in my face. Means nothing. Nothing? It's perfect? It is. Oh my god. That was a stretch. I'd have been so bummed. If I fell in the water? No. Or if you lost your tortillas? Lost tortillas. Ah, so you care more about your tortillas than me. Happy Thanksgiving! Come Your on. girlfriend's here. Come on. Come on. That, thing, that thing is on. It's armed. Yeah. Okay, perfect. perfect. What'd you find? What'd you find? Um, I had to. I had some almonds. <laughs> Score? What do you think? <laughs> Out of ten? <laughs> yeah. Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Happy right. Thanksgiving! Okay. <laughs> Wow. That look yummy. Yay. That looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm so hungry. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. <laughs> we're wearing entirely too many clothes, I think. We're in Florida, but we're not far enough south yet. But we continue to push south, and next week we have a great video for you to talk about different head sails. Yeah, Code Zero, Spinnakers, what do you need for light air, what do you need for going downwind versus upwind, it's going to be kind of interesting. So thanks for watching again this week, and we'll see you soon. Yeah, check you later. <laughs>